So we are here with uh, Mr. Wayne Borg, Chief Operating Officer of 2454, an Abu Dhabi-based company that deals in creative content generation, training, and hopefully inspiring a new generation of young Middle Easterners to create their own content and pursue careers in the creative industry. Thank you very much for joining us, Wayne. Thank you for having me. Um, I've given you a bit of a brief introduction. Do you just want to kind of expand a little bit more on the kind of work that you're doing and how you actually operate? Sure. Um, 2454 was set up by the Abu Dhabi government uh, just on two years ago now. And the brief is very much about creating a centre of excellence for Arabic content creation. Uh, and that's a pretty tall order in, in terms of a brief. And really it's about establishing a media hub for, for the region. And for us, there are sort of essentially four key constituent components to that. One is about skills development. Two is about providing enabling facilities. Uh, thirdly, it's you know, what this is all about here today and tomorrow, helping support creative entrepreneurship. And then finally, bringing it all together in an uh, integrated way into a, into a community. You've been with the company, I think you said three years? I've been there since the beginning, yep, since three the years, beginning. since three the beginning years. of the beginning. What was the landscape like when you first sort of came on board and were surveying what either opportunities were there or what skills were actually available in the market? What was, what was your assessment? Um, in, in essence, you know, what, was, uh, what we realised very quickly is that there really isn't a, a creative centre in the region. Um, you know, Obviously, content gets produced, but it's predominantly driven by facilities. There isn't really a place where the creative community can come together, feel supported uh, in an environment that's conducive to what they do, which is, in essence, produce great content to connect with audiences. And that is, in large part, what we're attempting to address by bringing all those necessary elements uh, together to allow that creative community to do what they do, which is to produce great content for audiences in the region. I think when you look at the Middle East there, you have basically two poles. We talked about hubs. You have Cairo, which is obviously the film industry, which probably isn't as powerful as it was, say, 15, 20 years ago. Then you have Beirut, which is the music industry. But as you say, there isn't really anything that, where you would say we're talking about the more kind of, should we say, 21st century industries, animation, um, you know. Gaming. Gaming is an absolute, is a perfect example. Digital. Applications, yep. uh, iPhone, the whole new trend of moving content digitally. Is that something that you're now, are you looking to try and create that hub around your business in the Middle East? Absolutely. You know, our role is to be a facilitator. Uh, and really, we look at the, the entire sort of uh, content creation landscape. So traditional areas such as film and television. But as you say, some of the, uh, you know, emerging areas such as children's content, animation, gaming, digital content. You know, there's a, a significantly large audience in this region that's not really being catered to. When you think that there are 340 million people in the MENA region, 60% of that audience is under the age of 25. Uh, and there's no content that really addresses their needs in, in many of those sectors. I think, I mean, what you can point to some encouraging signs. We have Naif Mutawa in Kuwait producing the 99 team. We have people like Suleiman al Bakhit in Jordan producing the Aranim range of cartoons. This is positive, but again, it's, we're talking about individuals. We need to create a culture. Well, you know, 2454 is about a community, a content creation community, and today we've got on uh, just 100 companies operating at 2454, ranging from large, um, you know, news gathering organisations like CNN, who've got, you know, their fourth only ever broadcast hub internationally, um, you know, broadcasting every night from Abu Dhabi to the world. Um, you know, that is a, you know, creates many jobs in journalism, but also, you know, technical roles, production, camera work and so forth. We've got publishers, both traditional publishers, digital publishers, animation houses, local companies such as Blink Studios, right through to organisations like Cartoon Network, who are all focused on content creation. Uh, this isn't just about sales offices or representative offices. It is about, you know, creating content for the audiences of the region, Arabic content at that. So let's move on then. How do you actually work? You talked about the, the, the large organisations that you've managed to partner up with and work with. How does actually your sort of day-to-day -day operations help create this community and foster this community? Sure. Um, well, firstly, you know, we talk about companies in the community, so they're creating job opportunities. Uh, we have 2454 Tadrib, which is a vocational uh, learning academy focused on the industry. So, you know, we have a number of partners, including the BBC, Thomson Reuters, the Thomson Foundation, Apple, Adobe, uh, and that's all 
about skills, you know, and, and ensuring that, um, you know, we're training the people in the industry to be at a proficiency level that's at international standard. So as many of these companies come from overseas and establish operations, they've got, you know, they can recruit people from within the region that are at a skills level that they require. But more broadly, it's about how we start to develop, you know, the, the leaders of the industry for tomorrow, so school leavers and graduates. Uh, and we've just started with full-time courses. One of those is um, a Cartoon Network Animation Academy course, which is a full-time one-year course in all aspects of animation. So, Fantastic. you know, it's starting to, to broaden out, you know, uh, what the industry is for, for young people, because uh, many of them don't really understand the full breadth of what's available in terms of career choices, but also, more importantly, giving them options, and for those passionate creative individuals out there, giving them a platform to, uh, to realise their dreams and ambitions. Uh, can we talk about successes yet in the, in the, in the three years since it started? Come, have, have you seen examples of people that have emerged from the program or, or content developers that have, you've, you've worked with starting to employ young people? Um, yeah, very much so. I think you know, many of the companies we've talked about um, you know, are taking on young people from within the region, offering internships and traineeship programs. Um, you know, Iptica, which is our, you know, in, in essence our incubator for, for young creative businesses, uh, you know, we've invested in, in eight businesses to date. Um, and you know, we've, even though we've been uh, established for three years, we've only been operational for two. So uh, you know, we've, we've achieved quite a lot in, in, a, in a relatively short period of time. Um, I think one, one of the things that's very, very important when we're talking about, you said, a community of 340 million people, is the ability for people to take possession of their own stories, to tell their own stories in their own way. I think when we look across the region, you know, even domestic TV stations like you know, the likes of Dubai One and the NBCs, there's an awful lot of content that's coming in from, from America, and not all of it of fantastic quality. I think that, you know, if the Arab world needs to sort of take possession of its own culture, it needs to start telling its own stories. Yeah, absolutely. And I, and I think, you know, you look at many other parts of the world, uh, in Europe, the UK, Germany, France, Australia, you know, they've all established their own industries to tell, you know, their own stories. And, you know, our view is why shouldn't this region be any different? Uh, why should there be a reliance on imported content as opposed to generating, you know, stories from within the region, telling the stories of the region and connecting with the people of the region? So that's very important for us that we give, um, you know, the, the talent of the region that opportunity. And, you know, we firmly believe on a, on a, on a broader scale that, uh, you know, strong culture uh, means stronger societies. I think on a slightly more controversial point, if I may, how important is it that the governments in the region start to relax kind of maybe slightly more social or regulatory frameworks in which people, you know, you, you sort of get a sense that people are slightly frightened to enter into creative pursuits or tell their own stories for fear of censor, whether social or, or, or government. How do we, are we in a position where now that is now starting to be relaxed, that people are more confident, you know, telling their stories in a way that they feel comfortable with? Well, I think, you know, certainly what's happening in Abu Dhabi, you know, 2454 is a government initiative. Uh, and I think, you know, that reflects sort of the government's focus and desire on developing this industry sector. Uh, and when you put in the context of, of Abu Dhabi's um, ambition to become a cultural centre with, with many of the initiatives that are happening there around Sadiat Island and the, uh, the development of the Guggenheim, the Louvre and so forth, and, uh, there's a realisation that, you know, the creative industry space is an important complement to, uh, to being a cultural centre and given the symbiosis between those two industries, um, you know, the government are, uh, you know, have, have responded accordingly um, and sort of see 2454 as, as a key initiative in, in the future development of Abu Dhabi. And, and how important is it that we send the message to young people in the region that creative industries are actually a real valid career opportunity? Incredibly important. Uh, you know, apart from being a, you know, a, an outlet, um, you know, it's a, it's a very important sector for, for many economies. You look at North America, for example. You know, the, the creative industries, uh, as an export industry, is only second to arms and defence. You know, and I think that puts it in some context in terms of the the economic benefit, but also, you know, as we mentioned earlier, the the macro benefits to the society in, in terms of, you know, reflecting the society, connecting with the society, um, and you know, having stories told from you know one's own culture. Finally, what are you here for? What are you looking to uh, What are you looking to achieve in the next couple of days? What kind of things are you looking to see from this incredible 
celebration of entrepreneurship. Yeah, no, this, this is a fantastic event. And, you know, uh, as 2454, we're here in our capacity um, through our incubator, 2454 Iptikar, which is all about helping promote, stimulate, uh, and support creative entrepreneurship. Um, you know, we've got uh, a number of aspects to the Creative Lab, which helps um, young individuals who've got a great idea but not necessarily a, a great business proposition. We'll help, you know, with a grant to, to further develop that idea. But we also have a more formal uh, investment vehicle called Iptikar Ventures, uh, and that's looking at, at young creative entrepreneurs who've got a great Arabic, you know, business, creative business proposition that we can help further develop and, and ensure a sustainable business. So uh, we're looking to meet as many young entrepreneurs and uh, creative entrepreneurs entrepreneurs as possible from the region. I'm sure you'll find them here. Wayne Borg, thank you very much indeed for your time and good luck with the rest of the conference. Thanks, Eddie. Thank right. you very much indeed.